above all, I want school to be a place where students feel like they belong and they're excited to be each day, where staff are empowered, inspired, and equipped to serve each day. Dr. James Whitfield was on Capitol Hill today uh, testifying before Congress about censorship in our schools. Dr. Whitfield was the principal at Colleyville Heritage High School in Colleyville, but left after facing accusations of promoting critical race theory. Whitfield says the accusation came after he wrote a letter to students following the murder of George Floyd, saying systemic racism was alive and well. Dr. Whitfield has been on leave since August of last year officially over performance issues. Today's hearing before the House Subcommittee on Civil Rights and Liberties focused on free speech, censorship, and the political pressure being felt in classrooms. Dr. Whitfield claims that, quote, the extreme, vile, and hate-filled elements of a local community spilled into public education. Yeah, he also warned public education is losing educators who make a real difference in students' lives. And Whitfield says it's all because of, quote, political groups he believes are out to destroy public education. To be crystal clear, this is about disrupting and destroying public schools. When you say parents' rights, it's not what it seems. You see, parents have rights. To say they don't is a blatant lie to the public. As educators, we don't build walls between families and our schools. We build bridges. We understand the critical importance of a strong school family partnership. We must simply call this what it is, a ploy to divert public school dollars to subsidize private education in the name of choice. But some parents groups argue their empowerment is long overdue and they won't go back to simply accepting whatever school districts decide. Yeah, a lot of those parents argue it's about having a say in what their children learn in a public school classroom.